What's up there, this is Chris, aka Pump and Dump on Xbox Live, and today I'm going to show you how I got my Xbox Live set up. I've been getting a lot of questions, response, comments about my other Xbox videos, so I'm just going to take a little time today and show you how I got mine set up, and this is an alternative method that if you're not in a room with a modem or you're far away from a modem, and you have a laptop or another computer that has wireless internet, this is how you can do it. Obviously. I got wireless internet going to my computer and I have my Xbox connected to the Ethernet port of the computer and I'm and my I'm getting Xbox Live because I'm sharing the gateway with the internet gateway with the computer, which basically means that it's allowing the computer to get the internet, but also at the same time through the same connection, it's letting me get Xbox Live via the Ethernet cable. Now how do you do this? Alright, let me show you. Alright get out of here. Now, first off you want to make sure that you're connected to the internet. Once you are, go ahead and connect the ethernet cable to the Xbox and the laptop or computer that you have as long as it's got wireless internet and a free ethernet port. And um, have your Xbox off because, you know, just in case. But after you get that done, go to the start button then go to control panel and you're gonna go to network and internet connections once you do that scroll down get more options here go to network connections and then you'll get all your computers internet settings now try if you're doing a lot of stuff make sure that you uh, have like a pen and paper or something write down what all the uh, settings are on all these before you even do anything with them because if you fuck up then you're not going to know what the settings were before so just go ahead and write down all the settings so that in case you do mess something up you can go back and change all the settings and you can get back to the end you know what I mean okay but anyway we have wireless network connection 2 which is the same one which is the way the connection that my internet or my computer is getting the internet through and it's shared we'll talk about that in a minute and right here you have another connection, which is probably the other laptop downstairs, and then you have the local area connection or the Ethernet port or the Xbox Live port. And, uh, okay, so, in order for you to share the gateway, you're going to have to go up to your wireless connection too, in my case, and right click, go down to properties. Should get another window up like this. You want to head over here to the advanced tab, then you'll get this little uh, thing right here internet connection sharing you're going to want to make sure that the first check that the first box is checked which says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection you want to check mark that and hit OK I've already done that so I don't have to do that so if you haven't done it before you're going to need to hit OK and then your computer will probably freeze for a minute don't worry about it it's just resetting the uh, connection options and then once you do it you'll have a little hand underneath the little icon right here and that means that it's shared and obviously this doesn't have an X over it which means that it's working and uh, so now some settings that you may want to do on your Xbox 360 to ensure that this works and because I got it set up the same way too you want to hold on, let me focus here okay go over to the systems tab on your dashboard go down to network settings and then go down here to edit settings and then you want to set all those to automatic so they can just go ahead and get the one that the computer assigns to it Then you got link right there and activity should be blinking yellow it shouldn't be lit up yellow but it should just blink yellow meaning that you got connectivity alright so after you got that done you just go ahead and try to sign in Xbox Live if you already had Xbox Live before you should go ahead and just automatically sign in but if you never signed in before you're gonna have to set up Xbox Live you know say you're 18 so you don't get any parental controls and shit and um, that's it you should be connected to Xbox Live now a few ways to check that you've done this right is uh, of course right here Ethernet port you should see a little green light right there and then there's gonna be one on the left side that should turn orange periodically but whenever you're playing games online it should really blink orange and uh, Okay, the other ways that you can check your connection status without going downstairs and looking at the modem or whatever. See this little thing right here? You got this and um, this little thing which is your connection or your network status. And then you have this thing which is Windows Live Messenger if you have it. Now, 
if you've already signed in the messenger like I have, and all of a sudden you look back and it's signed out and you didn't do it, it probably means that the internet connection is really weak or it's not going. So then you go over here, check this thing, you have packets received and sent. As long as these numbers keep going up, it means you've got internet connection. If these numbers stall, or you, you'll, that means that your connection is not good and you have to go mess with the modem. So that way if you think you're getting any lag during gameplay, you can go over here, check your packet, see if you're still connected to the internet, see if what's happening. So, and that's all you need to know, and that's how I got my Xbox Live set up. And if you got any questions, just let me know. Peace.